Now, the city of Chuane and Itaquini are set to receive a fleet of electric buses by the end of next year. This is part of a pilot project to shift the country to electric mobility, with the first batch of e-buses, 39 in total, expected to hit the roads in the next 18 to 24 months. The South African National Energy Development Institute, or SANEDI, has been appointed by the Development Bank of Southern Africa to manage this project. To discuss, we're joined by SANEDI. Uh, Prataban Mudli. Uh, Mr. Mudli, thank you for being with us. Is, is this realistic, uh, firstly, because with cars uh, in South Africa, we always say, where will they power up? Absolutely, and uh, very good evening to you and, and the viewers. Um, it is absolutely realistic um, as part of, uh, you know, the energy transition and uh, really our decarbonization initiatives that we have as a country, uh, we know that we need to decarbonize the entire energy sector. We've been going through all of this in the electricity sector, uh, but uh, that only makes up about 50% of the carbon emissions for the country. The next biggest sector that actually contributes uh, quite significantly to carbon, it's about 12 to, to anything between 12 and 20% is the transport sector. And we have to uh, embrace these new technologies like electric vehicles, electric buses and, and the like to actually help us uh, on this decarbonization journey that we have. And we've got this commitment to net zero by 2050. But again, will they be able to power up? Yes, so there's multiple options for powering up. Uh, obviously, we, we need to look at charging infrastructure, which means we need to build out, uh, you know, distribution infrastructure, electricity distribution infrastructure and charging stations.